Thank you. Welcome to worship this morning. We gather here under the blue canopy of God's sky. We remind you that uh, following the worship today, there is going to be a fellowship hour in the church, so we invite you to come in and have a cup of coffee and enjoy yourself. Uh, a week from today is uh, kind of the kickoff Sunday for the fall program, and uh, so you can look forward to that, to come and spend the morning here in a service uh, followed by some games and then a, a meal being served from the grill. So that's something to look forward to. My name is uh, David Kieseberg. My wife, Sonia, is sitting over here with the blue dress. Uh, she uh, travels with me when I go out and have services. And I kind of call her my secret weapon. But uh, anyway, I wanted to begin our worship today by sharing a story with you, my favorite story from the Jewish tradition. And uh, it's called The Two Brothers. There were two brothers that lived together on the family farm. One of them was married and had been blessed with many children. The other brother was single and lived all alone. But the two brothers worked together in perfect harmony and shared equally in the produce that flowed from their little farm. But one day, the married brother began to have some second thoughts about the arrangement. He said to himself, uh, I have my wife to help me and my children that will care for me after I've grown old. But my brother is all alone. He needs more. And so that brother filled a sack of grain and crept across the field and dumped that sack of grain in his brother's bin. But unbeknownst to him, the other brother was also having some second thoughts about the arrangement. He thought to himself, I'm all alone, my needs are simple, but my brother has a wife and children to provide for. He needs more. So that brother filled a sack of grain and crept across that field and dumped it in his brother's bin. And both brothers were amazed that no matter how generous they were with each other, their own supply of grain was never diminished. But of course, inevitably it happened that both brothers left their homes at the same time, and they collided out there in the midst of the field. And at first they were just confused and then filled with gratitude when they realized the love that each had for the other. And while the brothers were embracing out there in that field. Suddenly the heavens was filled with a bright light. And a voice came from heaven saying, now I know where I will build my temple. Where two brothers or two sisters or a brother and sister meet in love, that becomes the holiest place on the face of the earth. And according to a very well-established tradition, that beautiful temple in Jerusalem was built on a threshing floor that belonged to two brothers. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go up to the house of the Lord. I invite you to stand now if you're able as we begin our confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, God of manna, God of miracles, God of mercy. Drawn to Christ and seeking God's abundance, let us confess our sin. God, our provider, help us. It is hard to believe there is enough to share. We question your ways when they differ from the ways of the world in which we live. Turn us to our own understanding rather than trusting in you. We take offense at your teachings and your ways. Turn again to us. Where else can we turn? Share with us the words of eternal life and feed us for the life in the world. Amen. Beloved people of God, in Jesus, the manna from heaven, you are fed and nourished by Jesus, the worker of miracles. There is always enough through Jesus, the bread of life. 
you are shown God's mercy. You are forgiven and loved in abundant life. Amen. We join in the gathering song.